Despicable Me was first released in 2010, and the directors never imagined it would turn into such worldwide obsession. From extra movies to accessories and cosplays, these are some of the most popular characters on the planet. Wait until you see what a real-life Gru looks like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're checking out 10 Despicable Me characters in real life. Agnes Let's start with the youngest of the bunch. You can't deny that Agnes is one of the most adorable characters out there. We're sure many can relate to her love for fluffy unicorns. In the movie, the character was voiced by Elsie Fisher, who was only seven years old while she was working on the first movie. Agnes is an adorable six-year-old and the youngest of the three sisters adopted by Gru. Just like any other six-year-old, she has her sneaky ways of getting what she wants. Agnes tends to hold her breath until you bring her whatever she asks for. Isn't that just typical of children her age? She's also incredibly loving and has no trouble befriending practically anyone, including the vicious dog even Gru's reluctant to come close to. Agnes has dark hair that's put up in a standing ponytail and denim overalls. You'd think it would be hard to look like her in real life, but this cutie is rocking the Agnes look. From the ponytail and the red headband to the cute overalls and a yellow shirt, this child could easily play a human version of Agnes. Speaking of real life things from Despicable Me, do you remember the book Sleepy Kittens? It's available for purchase and it's the replica of the book that Gru reads to the girls. If you have some Despicable Me fans in the family, then this is an absolute must product to get. Edith. Edith is one of those characters you instantly fall in love with. She refuses to show that she's happy and gets a thrill from putting herself in daring situations. In the movie, she has some of the best one-liners that are usually followed by an eye roll. Edith is a nine-year-old girl with blue eyes and blonde hair. She always sports a pink beanie and is dressed in an all-pink outfit. Out of the three sisters, she's the one that's usually the most pessimistic and doesn't trust people straight away. But we can't help but to love her sarcastic personality and watch as Gru eventually wins over her heart. Edith is voiced by Dana Geyer, who was 13 when the first Despicable Me came on the big screen. Edith is a fun character to cosplay, and there are plenty of people out there that managed to recreate a human version of the sassy nine-year-old. Check out this girl who nailed the Edith look. To look like Edith, all you need is a pink beanie, purple skirt, pink leggings, and some snow boots. You'll also need to be extremely daring and master the art of eye rolling at adults. And you'll be able to recreate her look. Our next character is the oldest of the three sisters and the one that always has to keep everyone calm. She's smart and witty and she doesn't put up with any nonsense. Margo. Margot is the older sister everyone wishes they could have. She's very protective of Agnes and Edith, but she also disapproves of Edith whenever she misbehaves. Just like Edith, she also has a sarcastic sense of humor, although she's a bit more optimistic. It took a while for Gru to win her over, and we can't blame her for not trusting the minions from the beginning. Although she's only 12 years old, Margot is very mature for her age. She can easily outsmart Gru, as well as other characters. She is voiced by Miranda Cosgrove, who is better known for her role on iCarly. To look like Margot, you have to have brown hair and put it in a ponytail. She is often seen wearing a black t-shirt with a white button shirt underneath, a brown jacket, a plaid skirt, and red sneakers. And don't forget about those glasses. A DeviantArt user who goes by the nickname Homo Bernardus decided to cosplay as Margot, and she totally nailed it. She certainly did an amazing job at looking like the older, despicable me sister. Cosplayers really can pull off just about any look, including the one we're about to show you. Who's your favorite character out of the three sisters? Is it Agnes, Margot, or Edith? Or maybe it's our next colorful lady. Lucy Wilde. Lucy Wilde doesn't appear until the second Despicable Me movie. She's on a mission to take Gru out, and we don't mean out for a date. Although that is what happens after the two realize they are just absolutely perfect for each other, and Edith, Margot, and Agnes get a new mother. 
She is voiced by the talented and hilarious Kristen Wiig. Lucy is an unusual character when it comes to her looks, and she easily stands out from the crowd. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to believe she's a secret agent in disguise. She has bright orange hair and can be seen wearing a long, light blue coat that doesn't fit in with the crowd. She owns ridiculous gadgets such as a moose tranquilizer and a lipstick taser, which is probably why she's such a perfect match for Gru. Her character is a fun one to recreate and we love this cosplayer's version of Lucy. Her username on DeviantArt is Madame Paradox Cosplay, and she seriously nailed Lucy's look. She even managed to find the same white high heels, and they look absolutely gorgeous. So we now have four Despicable Me real-life characters, and it's time to add a couple of villains to this colorful mix. Vector. Vector's the man with both direction and magnitude. Those were his words, of course, not ours. He's voiced by Jason Siegel, and he's one of those characters you want to dislike, but can't. Vector's always trying to ruin Groove's plans, and most of the time, he's outsmarted by everyone, including Agnes, Edith, and Margot. Unlike Gru, who had a tough upbringing, Vector is a spoiled child who always gets what he wants. He has a funny look that's pretty hard to recreate. You'll never see him without his orange suit, glasses, and his bowl haircut. Although he's supposed to be a villain, Vector is a hilarious character with plenty of scenes that will make you laugh out loud. Remember the scene where he shrinks the toilet with the shrink ray and then the toilet had its revenge? His fabulous look got recreated in real life by Sherry81, a cosplayer from Germany. Yep, that's right, she's a girl, and she was able to create a realistic human version of Vector. We've covered a lot of cosplayers on our channel, and we're starting to think that cosplaying should be considered a superpower. We really want to know where she got her outfit from, because she managed to look a million times better than Despicable Me's villain, Miss Hattie. Miss Hattie is the only Despicable Me character that no one has ever decided to cosplay. But today, we'll show you how you can easily recreate Miss Hattie in real life. In case you can't remember who she is, here's a quick lowdown of everything you need to know about this gloomy character. She appears in the first Despicable Me movie, and she runs the orphanage where Agnes, Margot, and Edith stayed in before they got adopted. Miss Hattie is a parody of Miss Hannigan from Annie, so it's safe to say she wasn't made to be a friendly character. Here's what you'll need to dress as Miss Hattie. Find a purple plaid skirt that goes just slightly over your knees, grab a pink long sleeve shirt, buy high heels, and put your hair up in a 60s hairstyle. After that, make sure you hate children and be really arrogant towards people, and you'll easily become Miss Hattie. There is a character that could very well be Miss Hattie's twin sister, as the resemblance is uncanny. Do you remember Dolores Umbridge, the strict kitten-loving professor of the Defense Against the Dark Arts from Harry Potter? Don't they totally look alike? We can't decide which one we dislike the most. Gru. And you can't leave out Gru, a self-proclaimed world's greatest villain whose plan was to steal the moon just to prove his point. He has interesting helpers, but we'll tell you all about them later. Gru is brilliantly voiced by Steve Carell, and he is one of the most interesting Despicable Me characters out there. We're sure you all know what he looks like, so here's a cosplayer that managed to recreate a real-life version of this ex-supervillain. We all know Steve Carell is a funny guy, but this might be the best thing he's ever done. Steve decided to dress up as Gru, and he managed to create the best cosplay version ever. He has the scarf, the jacket, and he definitely has that Gru look, complete with a pointy nose. He even appeared on The Ellen Show as Gru and did a hilarious interview. If there ever is a Despicable Me character in real life that deserves an award, it's Steve Carell. What do you think you'd do if you ever met the actual Gru? He seems like a funny character, but what if he'd want to freeze you with his stingray? Maybe that's why he needs our next character, who's the brain behind Gru's amazing gadgets. Dr. Nefario. Dr. Nefario charmed us all with his amazing accent and cheerful personality. He's voiced by Russell Brand and he's just fabulous. 
He's Gru's so-called sidekick, but really, he just likes to create different gadgets, even if they make no sense. Remember when he created boogie robots instead of cookie robots? Or sent a minion floating up in space? He's a pretty special character, but a very fun one to recreate. Check out this picture of the entire office dressing up as Gru, Dr. Nefario, and the minions. Those are some office goals right there. To look like Dr. Nefario, you'll need to put on your best goggles, a white doctor suit, black boots, black gloves, plaid pants, and a portable mobility scooter. Then you need to sound like Russell Brand and start inventing unique gadgets. Befriend someone that looks like Gru, and voila! You're a real-life Dr. Nefario. Some fan theories state that Dr. Nefario was Gru's father. We never know the story of his father, but people suspected it might be him, as they share similar noses. This theory got debunked with a picture of a family tree that shows Gru's father's name is Robert. Our next characters were first introduced to the girls as his cousins, but they managed to become so much more than that. Minions. The Minions are some of the most popular characters in the world. They're loud, they're obnoxious, and they have their very own language that somehow makes sense even though you don't really know what they're saying. Although you can't find the true versions of the Minions in real life because we're not yet sure what kind of creatures they are, Minion costumes exist and these people are putting them to good use. But it's not just people who love the Minions. Check out this dog and this cat rocking their costume. These yellow characters managed to take over the whole world and they even got their very own movie and a video game. We're sure they're not stopping anytime soon. In Despicable Me, we mainly see Dave, Stuart, Jerry, Kevin, Mark, Phil, Carl, and Josh. Some of the best minion scenes include them laughing at Josh printing his butt, Dave getting excited and accidentally firing a rocket launcher, and the scene from Despicable Me 2, where Stuart and Dave laugh at Silas Ramsbottom's name. What can we say? It's tough not to love these yellow creatures. They're voiced by the movie's animator, Pierre Coffin, who actually gave voice to 899 different minion characters to this day. Yes, you heard that right. There are almost 1,000 minions out there. Are you a fan of minions or are you getting tired of the craze? All the Despicable Me characters together. Need a tip how to create quality family time? Spend some time creating Despicable Me costumes and convince your entire family to play a character. You think it's crazy, but this family did it, and it looks awesome. And here they are, all Despicable Me real life characters in one single picture. Who would have thought that you could actually make a pretty impressive family portrait if you dress up as the popular movie franchise? Check it out. It's Agnes, Edith, Margot, Vector, and of course, Gru. We're very impressed by their outfits and it seems like they really paid attention to every single detail made the characters come to life. This family portrait belongs to Annie, who was so set on creating costumes for her children, her husband even said he'll shave his head to pose as Gru. Now that's some real dedication right there. We are completely in love with this portrait, and out of all real life characters we've shown you today, this one is our favorite. The only things they're missing are Minions or Dr. Nefario. But since the two are rarely seen outside the house, it's safe to assume they are still somewhere out there. We're already planning how we're going to convince our families to dress up as these characters and recreate hilarious Despicable Me scenes. Give this video a thumbs up for Minions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Looking for more videos featuring Despicable Me characters? Check out 10 Disney princesses reimagined as minions. See you next time.